And there's another zombie over there. Are we nearing civilization, perhaps? <laughs> Good morning, friends. My name is Brandon Dates, and I am your humble narrator. Welcome back to Project Zomboid! Yes, I still seem to be in a bit of pain. I need to change this here dirty bandage. And uh, I think this is where the burn is. Yeah, I'm a little burned. That's okay. We'll find some shit to do today. I guarantee that much. And uh, my pain's getting worse. Mm, never good thing. Gotta take these pills. Oh, so delicious. Need all the pills. Okay, so let's pack up some of this shit. Want to try and find uh, some adventure to get into today. As we always do. Um... I think I can put that disinfectant away just fine. Adhesive bandages, nails. Sounds like I'm gonna need my poncho. A little bit rainy outside, but uh, we're we're pretty scarce as far as supplies go. I'm not loaded down in any way, so I'm not gonna worry none too much. Box of MREs. I'd like to find my compass. I'd like to find my compass so we could find the uh. Uh, Riverside is the new place that was added. It's to the west of West Point, but first I'm going to need to find my compass so I can make sure I stay uh, going to the west. Is it in here somewhere? I, I have no fucking clue. Hmm, I've got so much trash, and uh, I've not sorted any of this. So, we'll, we'll rummage for just a minute, see if I can find something. Hmm, and I might have might have put the compass down in a stupid place. I don't necessarily recall. And now I'm getting a little wet as well. Oh, isn't that just the way that it should be? We knew that it would be this way. Well, I got no uh, plants or anything to water, so that's kind of nice. Molotov cocktail, don't need it. Twine and wire. Fishing nets. Hmm... I don't see my compass anywhere handy, so uh, maybe I'll go check the other base. I guess that's how that's going to do. Hi, tea party animals. You having a good time? Me either. And it is, uh, my moodles are popping up. I'm slightly hungry and need a little bit to eat. So let's uh, pop in this house, see what we can do. I think I stashed some zucchines in here, maybe. Is this the one? Hmm, I had a lot of zucchini laying around. That's alright. Drink up this water, eat all this pumpkin. Let's eat a little more of the pumpkin. I want to be filled up. Filled up so this wound can heal nice and quick. Because I think that's uh, a large part of keeping yourself healthy. Is uh, giving your body plenty of nutrients to renew the stupid, terrible things that you've done to it. <laughs> And I've done a lot of stupid things to this body in the time that we've been alive. Oh yes I have. I jumped out a window in the very first episode. Broke my fucking leg. Thought this was going to be a super short series. And it uh, has not been at all. Oh my god, where'd all these fucking zombies come from? What the hell? Guess it's been a minute since I've been out this way. Just keep it clear. Do a little work now so I won't have to do it later. And, uh, yeah, the spawn rate seems to be picking up just a little bit. This guy's got a housefly, pencil, some shoes. I don't need none of this shit. Headphone, more shoes. My shoes don't get dirty, though. That's cool, because I got some Jordans on. You can't see them from there. And they're the, the black Jordans that nobody bought. <laughs> I don't think anybody's bought Jordans in a long time. What kind of shoes are cool these days? I know that shit changes like every week. God damn, there are so many zombies. I guess I must have shot a gun uh, nearer to this place than I thought. But alright. We're cool. We're gonna get things taken care of. Finish that off. Knock her ass over. Alright. One more over here. Why not? Stop raining. That's a nice thing. And, uh, I, I just was, uh, thinking about something the other day. Think about some Project Zomboid type shit. And I'm so super glad that Project Zomboid, uh, 
doesn't make you punch trees with your hands. I've seen so many of these survival crafting games that are just like, yeah, punch the trees with your hands. That's how it starts every fucking time. Not in Project Zomboid. They're like, you better find something to chop that shit down. Baseball bat, frying pan, I don't give a fuck. But you can't just punch a tree over. And, uh, I give, I give the tip of the hat to Project Zomboid for that bit of, uh, that stroke of genius bringing me into the reality of the situation. Because I always wanted to chop down a tree with a baseball bat. Okay. Knock them both down. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Got him, coach. $50 bill. Oh, yeah. Still collecting money. Still not quite sure why. Let's eat some of this energy bar, though. Mmm. Unfortunately, I don't get a wrapper. Which, uh, could be good for something, I assume. Maybe attracting small animals. They just smell the energy bar. And it smells so delicious! Jesus Christ. It is just infested over here. I was hoping to get up to some other adventures today. But it seems we're just, uh, stuck on zombies at the moment. There we go. Just one at a time. Take them down. My god. It sounds like there's a lot more than uh, I'm seeing. Alright, we got the, the stamina. Stamina loss. A little bit exerted. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh... I'm gonna go ahead and dead that right now. I did a little bit of cleaning, but uh, there's much more cleaning to do on this street. As has become quite apparent. So, uh, I need to watch that. I need to watch that. I need to take care of this at some point. But, uh, first I'm, I'm looking for my compass. That's what I need. I need to find some new adventures to get up to. I think that's one of the largest struggles in Project Zomboy, is just keeping your mind active. Keeping yourself moving. Ain't that right? I don't think I'm... I would have laid the compass anywhere out here. But it's good to just have a look. Maybe on that, uh utility shelf full of weird stuff chicken wire drill head chicken head <laughs> chicken head there it is a compass just what I need so let's open this up current direction is northeast hmm so west should be like up this way oh so yeah I would have been heading to the left, assuming that was west, but that is not the case at all. Up is west for some reason. Or not really even up, but like strange, diagonal, isometric kind of up. Oh, they're trying to break my boards down. Well, that shit ain't happening. Hey, the fuck away from there. That ain't your house. I don't know why I talk like this. I'm gonna grab this energy bar. Let's just rest for a minute. Take a quick rest. Get my exertion dead. Yeah. So I can do some more running. <laughs> so to the west of West Point is where we must go. We are currently in West Point, which is a good thing. But uh, I don't know how far we have to go to the west. So this is going to be a bit of an adventure. Probably should have brought some more food. The zucchinis that I left around are likely going to rot. But, um, that's just how it goes. That's how it goes sometimes. We'll just keep it moving. Keep it moving as we do. Try and keep my leg uh, from being in pain too much. I still got those painkillers, right? Yeah. Painkillers, sleeping tablets, I got it all. Don't even worry about that, baby. I got it down to a science, kid. So, yeah. It seems that... The zombies have taken hold in West Point. There's definitely more of them than there used to be. Which uh, lets me know that time is slipping into the future. So, yeah. As always, I'll do my best to quell the zombie horde, but uh, they are getting stronger. Fortunately, so am I. I'm able to take on multiples now, where I used to be like, oh, I only want to take on one. And I think that's largely thanks to uh, the blunt accuracy leveling. And it's even getting a little higher. 
a little beyond higher. But yeah, 3,000 to the next point. Holy shit. That's gonna be crazy. There was an alarm house around here. I had uh, a bit of a killing field going. But I didn't bring no guns with me today. I guess that's gonna be just fine. What I really want to go to Riverside... Oh, god damn, Jesus. That is a death... a death rattle. Not even a death rattle, that is a death roar. <laughs> Rattle and roar. Um, but yeah, trying to ignore the man that was being murdered over there. Uh, I really want to go to Riverside to see the new tile sets that are supposedly implemented. They're supposed to be like a country club and a spa and all kinds of shit. And really, I could just I could just use that and uh, take a load off, you know? Relaxation is important in a Zombocalypse. You can't be stressing out all the time. That's just crazy. So, uh... We're going to continue west and see what we can find. If I bump into uh, that farm and the Pony Romo and all that shit, then we know we've gone too far. But yeah, I hope uh, I hope I'm not going to end up shooting too far too far past this this mysterious place that I'm headed to. That I hope I'm headed to rather. There is a house over there, which looks kind of a. Uh, Kind of large and in charge. And I might want to have a little peek. Oh, but the windows are all broken out. Mmm, lots of zombies inside, I fear. Yeah, I don't know if it's worth it. I don't know if it's worth it. It's always so dangerous to go in a fucking enclosed building with zombies everywhere. We'll go ahead and skip it for now. <laughs> I'll stay safe. I got uh, a plan in mind. I don't want to get too off track. West. Go west, young man. That is what they told me. The gold rush is out there. In, what is it? I guess 49. San Francisco 49ers. You know what I mean? But they should totally call it the San Francisco 69ers. What? You know, like, because uh, there's totally a lot of... Sexual activity, flagrantly, in the streets, I don't know. I've never been to San Francisco. Don't plan on going either, <laughs> for that matter. Maybe someday, you know, see, uh, the, is it the capital? No, the, Sacramento's the capital of California. I'm dumb. Also, as, a, as an aside, I'm pretty dumb. <laughs> I hope that this road is going to lead me to, to what I'm hoping for. It seems that I've been this way before, because there's a lot of dead dead bodies about. But, um, yeah. One never does know, do they? You simply must march forward with your head held high and your penis held high. If, if you wish. If you wish. If you have one. I mean, if you don't, that's cool too. You can hold your tits high. Whatever. <laughs> you do you, man. Woman. Whatever. I just ain't trying to oppress nobody today. <laughs> That's my whole goal. Zero days since we've last oppressed anybody. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. I forgot. I forgot I'm not allowed to have an opinion. Shit. How could this happen? I kinda wanna cruise down this way. See what happens. Are these new roads? They seem pretty new. I mean, there's no dead bodies on them, so... That that qualifies as new, right? They do have like some cracks and whatnot in them as well, but we we'll ignore that. Nobody pays taxes anymore, so the roads don't get fixed. That's just how it is. I'll fix all the roads. I'll become the trash man. I'll take out all the trash. I'll I'll do all the dishes. Jesus does the dishes. Because nobody wants to do the fucking dishes. Who's going to do the dishes if I don't do them? Jesus? Let's hope. Let's hope so. Let's hope he shows up soon. Oh, so here's another uh, little split in the road. I guess I'll go west on this way. I don't even know where I'm going. As per usual, I uh, checked the Project Zomboid map. There's like a website for it, but I wasn't able to find the correct direction to go, so I'm just kind of poking around blind at the moment, and hopefully we'll, 
will bump into Riverside and I'll be able to identify it easily. Oh, and now I'm highly exerted. I should have stopped in that fucking house. I could have done it. I don't know why I didn't. I should take some painkillers, is what I should do. Oh my god, we're almost out of painkillers too. Shit. Gotta keep an eye out. Gotta keep a keen eye. That's my last dose of painkillers. Shit on a brick. Oh well. I wasn't as prepared as I thought I was. I was trying to keep my pack light, you understand? That's a, a big important thing. You gotta travel light so I can bring some more shit back to the base. I don't even really need that much more shit, if you want me to be honest. I mean, we're well taken care of. Even if I didn't leave the base for like a month, I could be cool. I could be just fine. But I don't recognize any of these roads, so... I'm assuming something over here... Goddamn gunshot! <laughs> Something's gonna lead me to Riverside. If I keep saying Riverside, uh, bad random events are gonna keep happening. Maybe we'll get a helicopter. Ooh, wouldn't that be fun? I haven't seen a helicopter in quite a fucking while. I guess all the uh, military and whatnot, they did. They did. They didn't survive as long as Dayton did. Hmm. Here's a little river. Quite nice. I don't recognize any of this, to be quite honest. So, uh... Yeah, I'm just hoping that there will be somewhere that I can rest my weary head. I probably should have brought an axe or something like that. So I can make a little hobble if I need to, but, um... I didn't think that far ahead. I thought everything would be just fine. But it never is. It never is. And that's a dead-end road up there. Not helpful. Not fucking helpful. Hmm. Can I get across this river somehow? Might there be a bridge somewhere? Well, this this town that I'm looking for is called Riverside, so maybe it'll be by the, the side of the river, no? Yes, no, maybe so? Go ahead and cruise down this other way. I could just keep running into the woods and going, I'll get there eventually if I keep going west, but that doesn't seem like the best idea. If I end up lost in the woods without any supplies, then I'm basically fucked. Oh, here's a little hoose. Anybody home? Have I been in here? I guess not, because there's fishing net traps. Sweet. We got some fishing rod and fishing line. We could pass a little bit of time. <laughs> that rhymes. <laughs> um, lots of traps. Pretty cool. So we got the uh, three to four level skill. I think that's what we're on for fishing. Yes, we're on level three. Just started it, matter of factly. Hmm, advanced trapping. Yeah, we don't need that yet. Fishing Tackle, The Herbalist, ooh, unread. Yeah, I will read this. What does it tell me? What say you, Herbalist book? Teaches recipe Herbalist. What the fuck? I don't understand. That's fine. That's fine, I don't have to understand everything. Here's another key, we're up to 29. Toy Octopus, we have one octopus, but... I like octopi. Mmm. Delicious octopi. Quite superior to octo cake. If one does know their, uh, their delicious treats. Hmm. Rubber ball. I don't think that has a use. It sounds like a pretty cool thing to just sit around and play with. Especially while you're on the toilet, you know? Taking a little potty and you can, uh, bounce your rubber ball around. And I will probably need this axe, just as like, uh, an oh shit, if everything goes wrong, I can build a little house. This is a pretty cool fishing shack, though. Mmm, quite nice. Quite nice that we found it. I do want to rest for another little moam, just because, uh, that exertion, getting up there. I'm also getting peckish. Shite. I can drink from the sink. That's fortunate. Eat the rest of this pumpkin. Everything's going good. Unfortunately, there's no painkillers to be had in here. 
But, uh, yeah. I didn't know about this little fishing shack. Should I follow the river? Is that going to lead me to success? Or failure? I'm quite unsure. Well, it curves around this way. I'm definitely on the other side of it now, so, uh... I guess we're just gonna roll with that. You could roll with this, or you could roll with that. Or you could roll with this, or you could roll with that. Or you could roll with us. I wanna roll with you. Fat boy Slim. Oh, that's the end of the river. What the fuck? So this is like... Basically not a river at all. <laughs> it's a little pond. But it's extremely hard to tell with uh... Not a whole lot going on around it. No flowing of the water and such. But pretty good to uh, note that there's a little fishing shack out here. Just in case you're out this way, want some extra fishing traps. It does fill my bag up just a little bit more, but... Um, I don't know if I'd remember to come this way if I'm on the way back, so... I'll bring it with me. If all else fails, I can ditch the fishing traps. Um, I don't necessarily need them. I want them, that's for goddamn sure, but do I need them? Hmm, not so much. So let's uh, try and find the other end of this river. I will continue west. Go west, young man. This is what my mama told me. And uh, I guess I'm just going to, to take a little chance. A little chance on romance. And hopefully I can make some good time through the woods. That's a great idea. This is gonna go awesome. I do have the axe, so I don't feel as uh, as wary now. Everything might be okay. It could possibly be just fine. I hope. So, I found a road. <laughs> I guess we'll keep going west on the road. I don't really know how far Riverside is from West Point. I mean, west of West Point? What could that possibly mean? It could be extremely far. Like, the map is fucking gigantic, as far as I can tell. So, uh, yeah. Just gotta keep rolling them dice. Roll them bones. I'm really determined to uh, cover some new ground. Break some new ground, you know what I mean? I thought about going back to the mall or something like that, but... <laughs> fuck that. Fuck oh, that, I don't want to do that. Nobody wants to see that shit. We've been to the mall. We know what's there. And what's there, Dayton? Not, not much. Zombies. Zombies and not much else. Well, I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna continue up this way. And hope that, uh... Something goes right. <laughs> it could be awful. I do need to keep myself alert, just in case we run into any zomboids in the woods. Oh, there's a river over there! Okay. Let's follow this river. Maybe this is the river they're talking about. This is fucking gigantic. Looks more like an ocean than a river, if you want me to be quite frank. Hmm. Fascinating. Who knows what could lie beyond it? I could also uh, take a break, construct a little house as like a, a midway point, but it's not going to have a bed in it. Well, I don't really need a bed. I could just make a fucking one-room shack with a chair in it and go to sleep just fine. But I would uh, also like to have a door, which is a luxury I can't afford at the moment. I didn't even bring a fucking sheet. God, I didn't think this out at all. Oh, we're going to have to find somewhere to settle down. I'm almost definitely not going to be able to build a shack unless I completely enclose the fucking thing and then uh, I just hack my way out in the morning with an axe. And if it rains, uh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to put a roof on the fucking thing either. So that's not good. That's not good. But... Here is a river, so um, I'm going to take that as a, a good omen. <laughs> we will find Riverside eventually. I'm going in the general direction of west. Getting off the beaten path just a little bit. 
Now it's turning me more south. More southwardly than I would like, to be quite honest. But, uh, I assume it'll curve back up, or maybe we'll find a road or some houses. This is... This is dangerous territory. It's already 5.30. I've rested just a bit too much today, I think. And, uh, yeah. It could get ugly. I could be stuck out here in the in the dark. With my dick in my hand. But there also doesn't seem to be too many zombies, so... Who knows? It could be just fine. Pass out in the, in the field and then... No zombies find you? That would be quite a rush. <laughs> See whether I die or not in my sleep. That would be a pretty lame way to go, too. I kind of want to go out fight. You know what I mean? If some zombies are going to get me, I want to fight them. Jesus. This is just taking me way, way south. I get a bad feeling. A bad feeling about this one. I don't know if this is the way I'm supposed to go. And, uh, the river's too big to see the other side. Or the fucking ocean, as it were. Is this, like, a wall of the map? They just walled it off with water instead of that pitch blackness that I've seen before? I'm quite unsure. But, again, no zombies, so... I guess that's a good thing. That's how you know you're winning! There's no zombies around! Yeah, this is pretty fucked up right here. If I hope to make a shack, then uh, I should be making a shack at some point. Oh god. Looks like the river has a little turn in it. I hope. Yes. It does. Oh good. Turn me more west. More westwardly. Oh cool. Okay. Maybe it's not terrible, but it is turning extremely fucking slow, and, uh, yeah, my choice now is continue on, keep pushing, or stop and build a shack. I'm gonna eat this energy bar, try and stave off unhappiness, maybe this will be a super long episode, uh, but I hope to find Riverside, I think that would be quite interesting, and then, uh, Maybe vehicles will be implemented by the time I decide to go back. I do have a lot of zucchinis sitting over there rotting, but, um... I don't give so much thought to rotten food these days. I'm just like, eh, throw it in the pile. Fuck it. I don't even care anymore. I have so many non-perishables. I don't have to share them with anybody. That's so nice. It's just me, all, all out on my lonesome. Isn't that wonderful? Maybe I should build like a little chair or something. Look, there's a road over there. A little chair that might help re reduce my exertion. But even my exertion doesn't have seem to have that much effect. I think little Dayton's just so excited to uh, discover something new. He's like, let's see what's over the next hill. Maybe it's over the next hill, Big Dayton. And I'm like, yeah, probably not. <laughs> Probably not, but it's good to dream, isn't it? Yeah, it's 7 7 p.m. now. This is so not good. It's definitely going to be dark by the time we show up wherever we're going. And there's some zombies over there. I must avoid them because they scare. And I have no fucking exertion either. I got no strength left. They were to, to latch on to me and try and give me a fight. I can't beat them back. Yeah. At least I'm not in danger of passing out. That's uh, probably the most scary thing for me. Especially if there's zombies nearby. They're not just going to think you're dead. They eat flesh. Dead flesh, living flesh, whatever. They're still going to come over. It's not like a bear, you know? You see a bear, you're like, play dead. Alright, I'm cool. The bear left me alone because he thought I was dead. It probably helped that I shit on myself. <laughs> Which I probably would if uh, a bear got that close to me. They're fucking terrifying. 
You might think, oh, it's big and cute. It's like a furry tractor. Don't be fooled. Teddy bears are uh, not equivalent to real bears. This is a lesson that's hard learned by most. But I'll tell you right now how it is. God oh, damn. Now I'm getting a little drowsy. That makes me worry somewhat. But, I mean, how much further west could we possibly go? There's more zombies, which makes me think that maybe there is some civilization on the other side of this fucking massive road. I just don't know. I just don't know, but I'm trying to keep hope alive. So, yeah. I could stop and chop down a tree and be like, we'll see you in the next episode. But I'm not that tired yet. It's just like, could do with a lie down. Oh, well, everybody could. I've been awake for three hours. I could do with a lie down. <laughs> I guess that's how it is when you're old. When you're young, you're just like, so full of energy. Full of piss and vinegar. Dang. Going all day. Twelve hours. Don't even want to go sleep at night. What the fuck is up with these kids, man? <laughs> I tell you what. I'll tell you what, what drains the kids, though. Take that cell phone away. Take the cell phone away and they're like, no mental stimulation. Not that, the, not that that's even uh, that mentally stimulating. But, uh... It stimulates them enough to want to keep them awake. It shines a bright light in their eyes when you're telling them to go to bed. You're like, okay, go to sleep, and they're like, okay. And then they click another YouTube video, and I'm like, that's my phone, and you're making me want to throw it across the fucking room. The river is turning just a little bit now. So I'm thinking, should I stay on the road or follow the river? It is called Riverside. Oh god. Fart, fart, fart sticks, fart poops. Oh god, it's getting too late. I'm gonna end up passing out. I'm gonna pull this axe out of my bag and build uh, at least a little hobble. I hope I have enough nails. Jesus Christ. This wasn't a great idea. But uh, that's, that's part of the adventure, isn't it? You just gotta hold on to hope. Something like that. Here we go. Knock a couple of these trees down. Hopefully no zombies are gonna come after me. Because if they do, I will be fucked. Oh my god. I forgot my saw. <gasps> We're so sh... Fucking sh... Nikes. Oh god. I'm screwed. I'm totally screwed. What do I do? What do I do? What choice do I have, really? But to keep on trucking. So, river or road? River or road? I don't guess it matters. Just keep moving forward. I guess I should stay off the road. Just because if some zombies happen to find me, um, that'll be more likely on the road than by this this river in the middle of the woods. Oh god. Now I'm headed north. Is that the direction I want to be headed? That road was headed west. Fuck, I'm panicking a little bit. Okay. Just everything's fine. Everything's cool. Everything's awesome. Is this the same road? Is this the road from before? I'm so lost now. Oh crap. Crap. Crap a money. Crap a spoonie. Crap a doony. Crap a lap. I'm so far from home, and uh, I know not what do. I forgot my saw. Like a fucking noob. Ultimate noobery. And there's no way I could just sit down and rest on the ground in order to make myself run faster. So, uh, we're just gonna keep it going. Keep it going until we're dead. Get this bandage changed. A little bit burnt. And uh, I'm like, ouch, that smarts. But you know what? We ain't got no fucking first aid. Let the pain keep you awake, little Dayton. That's how it works. 
You want to stay awake? Put some duct tape on your hairy fucking forearm and rip that shit off. That'll give you at least another five minutes. If you use big enough pieces of duct tape, you probably get another hour before you end up dying in the woods. Oh man. This is so not good. The river, I can see it through the trees over there. So I guess we are still following it somewhat. But, uh, mmm. This is a bad situation to be in. I would not wish this on anyone. It's, uh, yeah. Late at night. We're wandering down a road. Extremely exerted and tired. Ah. Uh, I wish they just implement cars already. God damn it. I've got so much gas back at the base that isn't being used. Because apparently the electricity and uh, water is never going to get shut off. I don't know why. I don't understand anything. Hmm. I just need a car. Just one car. And I could fucking drive all this distance in no time. But I guess that's uh, part of the, the struggle, you know? You can't just put all the towns next to each other, because then somebody comes and loots all the towns at the same time. And you, you conquer one, you conquer them all. But if you spread it out like this, probably like uh, rural Kentucky actually is, then you got to do quite some walking to get to the towns. And, uh, yeah. Just because you're king of one, king shit in one, doesn't mean you're king shit in all of them. Which is how it goes in Rust a lot of times. Like, hey, I rule this town. And then, uh, yeah. Basically, nobody's gonna fuck with you unless they have equivalent gear. Which, you know, if you're a ruthless player, you're not gonna allow anyone to get the equivalent gear. As you're camping the airfield. It's a big reason I uninstalled Rust. I thought about doing, uh, like a farewell series. And then I booted it up and played it for just a minute, and I'm like, eh, not even gonna bother. <laughs> Goodbye, Rust. Goodbye. Project Zomboid, however, has, uh, stuck around for quite a while, and I applaud it for that. This fucking river, dude. West. West. We keep going west. My tireless moodle. So ridiculously, inhumanely tired. Yeah, I'm sorry, okay? I didn't realize what this would be. I should have brought a tent or something like that. I just, I just, I didn't think this out, honestly. I didn't bring an axe, but I found an axe. But then I also didn't have a saw. <laughs> so like, what the fuck? So the river's curving away. It seems this road is just following the river. Getting harder to tell now that it's uh, super dark. God damn. And my thirst is also going up. Thirsty and dehydrated. Thank you so much. This has just been a wonderful fucking journey, hasn't it? Been amazing. 10 out of 10. Best journey ever. There and back again, except we haven't even gotten there yet. <laughs> Such a long episode. I'm probably gonna oversleep like a motherfucker. But I guess that's okay. I could also keep it going until I pass out. That could be fun. I haven't even passed out once yet in Project Zomboid. Even though the uh, tiredness moodle has been floating around my head multiple times before. Oh my. Are we close? Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. We're never gonna be there. Been exhausted, tired, thirsty all day, and this shit just ain't gonna happen. I don't know what to tell you. We'll get to midnight, my character will just fucking keel over, get bitten by a zombie, and, and that'll be the end of that. And then I'll have to go hunt through these fucking ridiculously vast woods looking for my character to continue with the the shit that I had how frustrating how frustrating could it get not much more let me tell you well this road seems to be curving back and forth 
just a little bit more now. So perhaps I'm nearing something of note. But oh my god, this is just... This is just beating the shit out of me. If you want me to be real honest, all I need is a little... A little house. A little preset shelter. Because I didn't think far enough ahead to bring any fucking thing of my own. Oh, I could kick myself. I could kick myself right in the ass. A river still there? I'm not sure if that's a river. I don't care. Just follow the road. We're not gonna find any houses near the river. Unless they're like a weird little fishing shack. Should've just stayed at the fishing shack. I don't know why I'm like, oh, we have enough time. We got enough time to go there. Everything's gonna be great. Because guess what? It's not. It's not gonna be great. It's never gonna be great. I don't know why. She swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. And, uh, yeah, I can't even see shit, except for that zombie. She's chilling out on the road. She's having a good time. And there's another zombie over there. Are we nearing civilization, perhaps? Please let it be. Oh, God, I just, I just need a house. I just need somewhere to sit down. Please don't let me pass out near the zombies. That would be the fucking worst thing ever. Yeah, they see me. Please just keep going. Oh, God. My heart is pumping. I'm not even really close to zombies. But I know that I'm close to passing out. Which makes my heart really pump. It's really pumping. Jesus. This is just a mess. Should not have decided to do all of this. At least not in one sitting. At least the next time I know. I'll have to gather up some supplies in Riverside in order to camp, like, halfway through on the way back. And I was even talking about making a, a little outpost or something like that. But it didn't work out that way. There's a zombie over there. Just kind of try and skirt him. The river's still over there, isn't it? God, Jesus, fuck. Right in my ear. Please just keep going. Please just keep going. I hate this. I absolutely hate this. Oh. Like, I, I... Four months of work ended for a fucking stupid expedition to see some new tile sets. I'll, I'll kick myself. I'll kick myself right in the ass. Especially because I know with more preparation, it could have been avoided. I mean, it hasn't even happened yet. But, um... I'm looking down the barrel of death right now. And I'm not liking the look of it. It's scaring the living shit out of me, if you want me to be completely honest. There's another curve in the road. Fuck you. Just give me a house. Give me a... A fishing shack. Give me something without a chair, and I will build a fucking chair. There's so many zombies. Please don't pass out near the zombies. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Just keep going. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. Oh, God. It's a paved road. It's not just a, a dirt piece of shit. Should they go down the paved road? I don't know. I don't know. There's probably more zombies on the paved road. God damn it. My tension is just through the roof. Oh my god. This is so not good. Is this the way to go? I don't know if this is the way to go. There's so many zombies out here. I'm so fucked. I am so fucking screwed. One in the morning. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I just need somewhere. Somewhere to sit. Somewhere to lie down. For just a fucking minute. And I would be so golden. Oh man. Don't let it end like this. 
Please, please, please. Oh, another curve in the road. Jesus fucking Christ. Can I find civilization, please? Just, that would be great for me. For everyone involved. Which is basically just me and little Dayton. But our lives are important. We've been kicking around for, for many months now. Almost four months. Jesus Christ. What a run. If it ends like this, I guess it ends like this, but... What a fucking run we had. We're dipping into the next day now. So, uh... I'm scared to do an outro. Because <laughs> my character's gonna pass out somewhere, regardless. Oh, Jesus. Alright. We'll just do it, real quick. Friends, this has been Project Zomboid. <laughs> I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I hope you join us for the next time. I'm pretty sure we're close to Riverside, but um, I might pass out and or die before we get there. Say your prayers for me. Please join us for the next episode and see what happens. I'm on the edge of my seat. I really hope you are as well. Oh, it's been a long one, and uh, maybe the, the next one will be even longer. I can't really say one way or the other. Could be super short also. <laughs> Anyways, please join me for it. Don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe. If you did enjoy the episode, if you are enjoying the series, let me know. I reply to every comment. That's always appreciated. Uh, I hope to see you in the next one, friends, while I'm still alive. <laughs> and until then, bye bye One, two, three, four. Bye-bye. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.